But would I feel good? Would my skin be glowing? Would my hair be growing? I don't think so. Hello there beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna talk about beauty investments that are going to last you a lifetime. And I'm not gonna talk about a particular brand or a particular product per se. I'm talking about investments and behaviors and habits that you need to do if you want to actually maintain the looks for a long time coming darlings. I have got you. So number one, this is something I have just invested in and it is a water softener. This has been something that has been game changing in terms of noticing visibly the difference in my hair and my skin. I'm actually shocked. I live in a very hard water area. London is the pit and I slowly have noticed, you know, my skin struggles. And I also notice when I'm away from London, my skin is hydrated, plump, gorgeous, wonderful, fabulous. And I come back to this South London plaque water and the crispy shout returns. And also my daughter suffers from eczema. So I had to get a water softener installed. I really wanted to see is it something in the water? And it was. So far, it's been really good. And I genuinely think that looking at the kind of water you're using on your hair and your skin can make a huge difference to your beauty status over time. We are living in water that is filled with minerals, filled with chemicals, filled with stuff we don't necessarily need, and it may not be helping our beauty journey in the long run. Now, I'm not saying that you may need to get a water softener, but you may wanna look at your options of say using distilled water. And I proactively, before I got the water softener installed, I stopped using water out of my taps because I realized it was triggering my eczema. And I noticed that after I stopped using my tap water, my skin was much better. Alternatively, you can get a filter attachment. And this is what I did between getting my um, water softener. I just picked one on Amazon. It was highly reviewed and 100 million percent I saw a difference in my skin and I didn't have it in my new bathroom and I only would have my showers upstairs where I had that filter attachment and it made such a big difference. Honestly, look at what's happening with your water and seeing if you can make an investment into a filter. Next up, she wants to talk about water again. And yes, this is gonna be annoying, but water, 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 water. And I'm saying this to you, like I say this to me. I don't love drinking water. I don't enjoy it. I don't enjoy the taste or lack there of taste. I'm just not a water babe, I just don't get it. However, if you want shiny, bright, twinkling eyes, hydrated skin from the inside out, beautiful pearly white teeth, hair that is flourished and not dry from the root, you're gonna have to drink your water and find options that allow you to drink water more consistently in a more enjoyable way. And I'm gonna have to shout out my sponsors, Air Up. This has been game changing for me because nowadays my water isn't just any water. My water can be mango and passion fruit water. It can be iced peach tea water. It can be watermelon water. It can be sweet berries water without having anything added to my water whatsoever. No chemicals, no sugar, no additive. It's using the power of natural flavorings to make me feel like I can taste the flavor without it actually being added into the water. This has changed the game for me when it comes to drinking water. We have the steel bottle first, which I fill up with everyday water. We have the strap situation here, twist that on. It's like the classic water bottle at first, and I love a good water bottle that is going to keep my water nice and cool, but then, we have our pods, our flavored pods. Easy to use and they have a ton of flavor options. That is simply added to the very top and it fits perfectly. And you can carry this and go, keep it by the side of your bed. I'm just gonna let you know. It's not sparkling and I would actually love to put sparkling water in here, but it's like flavored water. Like it's got a gentle hit of the flavor of the pod. How it's doing that, I really don't know but it makes the water way more enjoyable. Flavored juice, flavored juice, yeah. Whatever way you can get into drinking more water more consistently in a more enjoyable manner that you don't wait till the end of the day when you realize, oh my God, I'm dying. I haven't had a drink of water. That's what you need to incorporate because it's going to be great for your beauty, your life and your mind over the long run. If you are interested in getting your own air bottle, I will have a link in the description bar below, but this, 
is a great investment. A very annoying but honest comment is you need to get more sleep, honey. Rest is as important as the work. I know there is hustle culture all of the time, but we need to get into sleep culture. We need to get into rest culture. These are essentials for your brain and your bodily functions. When you sleep more, you actually release human growth hormone. If you don't get enough sleep, you actually don't grow as much as you're meant to grow. You are not the best version of yourself. Your body cannot repair, meaning your skin cannot repair, meaning you are going to be aged and decrepit too soon if you do not sleep enough. Sleep should be a medical treatment because it is essential. I think it's the one thing that you can do to look better, to gain more muscle, to be fitter, is literally to sleep more. Why were we never taught this? Sleep is extremely important for the inside and the outside. You wanna look better, you don't want dark circles, you don't want bags under your eyes, you wanna feel more alert and have a great sense of well-being. Catch those Zs. This is a little trick that I've realized that celebrities utilize all the time and it is wearing sunglasses regularly. I used to always wonder why certain celebrities and certain people are always in sunglasses, but I actually think it's an anti-aging secret. Yes, sunscreen is important. Yes, putting on sunblock all the time is important, but fundamentally, you can't go wrong with a physical barrier as well. If that's a hat, if that's a neck scarf, if that's glasses, anything that can create a barrier between the sun actually like getting on your skin is gonna mean that your skin is not gonna suffer and have the impact of UVA and UVB rays. Physically protecting yourself from the sun is really important. I think sunglasses is a great option and there are so many options when it comes to sunglasses that fundamentally it is not only a fashion piece but also a um, a beauty secret that will help your skin last the longest another beauty investment is hormone balancing yes this is not a cream or a product or actually sometimes you can get progesterone cream hormones who doesn't notice that their skin can fluctuate depending on the time of the month or depending on what is going on in their life or when they change a certain pill or even when they start dating somebody new. All of these things can be based on the fluctuations in your hormones. And I do think that there are a lot of women who don't have that much of an understanding of number one, the different types of hormones they release, as well as the different times they release these hormones in their cycle. We have multiple different phases in our hormonal cycle that really do impact us as individuals, mentally, emotionally, and physically. I can tell you now that my experience as a pregnant woman, it was like a glowing goddess. I was stunning. And afterwards, I was like a dried up prune. What a mess. And I have my hormones and lack of sleep to thank for that. So getting an understanding of how your body works and how your hormones fluctuate is super important. You may wanna look at, you know, items like natural cycles or flow app, or even getting um, your hormonal levels checked and really working out in your cycle, when is the best phase of your skin? When is the best phase of your body during a monthly cycle and really learn how to maximize and use that. You may also notice that you have issues with your skin, maybe because of the hormones you are currently taking. A lot of women are given contraception that honestly isn't always right for them. Finding out and testing out different contraceptive options for yourself, I think as any woman is a really important thing to do and is extremely empowering. I noticed that once I stopped using chemical contraception, my skin and my mind flourished. Now I definitely still have issues when it comes to my hormonal balances, but I've had to take time to work out what works for me. And I think that if you wanna think about your beauty in the long term and your body in the long term, you need to have a greater understanding of your hormones and what works for you. Are you progesterone dominant? Are you estrogen dominant? Are there things that you are eating that doesn't work with your hormonal balance? You need to really understand yourself by starting to track what is going on in your body and when. There are multiple tests as well that you can find out what your levels look like. Continuing on from hormones, I really want to talk about diet and supplements, specifically understanding that there's a phase, and maybe maybe this is me now, but I'm a supplement queen. I'll be taking my collagen, my magnesium, my biotin, my calcium, my B6, my B12, my omega-3s on an everyday basis because I now annoyingly 
understand the power of supplementing and being careful with what I eat or making sure that I fuel my body with what it needs and the, the nutrition and the micro supplements that my body needs. A lot of us are always thinking about diet on the scale of calories, but really we're not thinking about diet when it comes to scale of nutrition. I know that if I had chicken breast and white rice every single day, yeah, I'd get lean. But would I feel good? Would I have those micronutrients that would I need? Would my skin be glowing? Would my hair be growing? I don't think so. So thinking about fit food and diet and supplements in a more than a calorie based way is really important if you wanna think about your long-term physical appearance and your beauty investments. Finding out about which supplements you may need and want, and I'm happy to share with you what my supplement routine looks like. I take probably about seven a day maybe up to nine um and they've made a huge difference to me specifically as i deal with pmdd and other hormonal things i have to stay on top of my supplements to really be the best version of myself and look like the best version of myself as well building muscle tone <laughs> i don't want to talk about building muscle tone around being slim or being about fit or how your body looks it actually makes you look better looking overall because muscle is like the building blocks of the body and also the face have you not noticed how bodybuilder females have got some strong draw now no one's saying that you need a super strong draw but what if you can do to build the muscles in your face and build the muscles in your body your skin is going to be much more tight and more uh, you know structured around your face and you're going to look younger and fresher you know sometimes you can be a little bit you know loose and a little bit like relaxed things aren't as tight as you you, you need maybe you don't need both maybe you just need a little bit more muscle tone and muscle tone is really important for longevity in general muscle tone is one of the building blocks for a really good metabolism for having good mobility as you get older and in looking good so do those weights do those weights and even do those facial exercises they're good for you finally if you really care about having her titties wear a bra I'll be honest I don't wear a bra and my, my, my boobs are not real, so it's fine. But if that's something you are really concerned about, then the evidence supports that wearing a bra um, more consistently, and it doesn't have to be underwire, and it's gonna reduce the impact of the gravitational pull on the boobs. <laughs> However, I know that no bra may work for certain people, and a good bra may work for others. And fundamentally, as we age, as we get older, things are gonna go down south, so you can enjoy it comfortably. It's up to you. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that video but in the meantime i'll catch you all later bye